The South Carolina Forestry Commission was established in 1927 with three charges, to protect the forest, promote the benefits of forest management, and to monitor the forest condition. At that time, our forest land had been heavily cut over and was eroding badly from poor farming practices. Wildfires ran rampant across the landscape. The future of South Carolina's forest resources was headed toward crisis when the General Assembly created the State Commission of Forestry on April 26, 1927. By demonstrating proper management techniques, assisting landowners with management decisions, providing cost share assistance, producing quality seedlings, and controlling wildfires statewide, the Forestry Commission worked to correct the issues facing the state's forest resource. Today, South Carolina's forests provide the raw material for one of the state's largest industries and continue to be a vibrant part of our economy with impacts in every county. Contributions through sales, jobs, and significant environmental benefits make the state flourish with more wood volume today than ever recorded. Our forests are an economic engine that creates wealth, provides jobs, and contributes to the state's quality of life. South Carolina and our neighboring southern states make up what's called the wood basket of the world, producing more wood than any other single country on earth. Forestry is a pillar of our state's economy, employing more than 98,000 people and generating an economic impact of more than $21.2 billion annually. The Forestry Commission is managed by a group of commissioners appointed by the governor. The agency's headquarters is located in Columbia on Broad River Road, housing the state forester, program managers, administrative personnel, technology staff, educators, and an information and creative services team. The commission's organization breaks the state into three regions. Coastal region, centered in Walterboro, the PD region, positioned in Florence, and the Piedmont region, located in Newberry. Each region is supervised by a regional forester and divided into two units, supervised by a unit forester. The units are broken into sectors, supervised by fire management officers. Each regional office staffs supervisory and administrative personnel and specialty foresters, along with a communication staff, dispatch center, and maintenance shop with traveling mechanics. The South Carolina Forestry Commission is responsible for protecting nearly 13 million acres from wildland fire. The state's first organized forest fire control efforts were initiated in 1928 when groups of landowners in cooperation with the Forestry Commission formed five forest fire protection organizations. These forest protective associations grew in number and size until 1945 when the General Assembly passed the South Carolina Forest Fire Protection Act, which extended organized forest fire protection to every county in South Carolina, the first of any of the southeastern states to take such a step. Today, the Forestry Commission has a statewide wildland fire prevention, detection, and control network in place. Three regional dispatch centers coordinate statewide forest protection. Personnel are assigned throughout the state in a series of unit and regional offices. The largest single group of employees, the wildland firefighters, report directly from their residences. These firefighters are based in every county with heavy equipment and hand tools ready for a quick response to wildfires. Some on bulldozers, some on foot, and some in the air protecting life, property, and forest land. The Forestry Commission has over 30 sworn law enforcement officers statewide who focus on forest fire violations. These cases range from simple violations of safe burning laws to felony level woods arsons. All Forestry Commission officers are trained and certified by the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy. After graduation, officers receive additional training on forestry law, wildland fire behavior, forest fire investigation, and incident management. Forestry Commission officers have statewide jurisdiction and full power of arrest. Three specially trained regional agents investigate hundreds of timber thefts and fraudulent timber deals every year. The Forest Health Program assists with the diagnosis of insects and diseases affecting forest resources in the state. 
staff detect, evaluate, and suppress forest pests and diseases. Aerial surveys are made periodically for specific pests to determine occurrence and the need for suppression action. There are 12.2 million acres of commercial forest land in South Carolina. 87% of those forests are privately owned. As a customer service agency, we work with landowners, large and small, to help them manage their forest lands to their maximum potential. Forestry Commission foresters assist South Carolina citizens with management of the forest resources of the state. Programs include woodland management assistance, reforestation assistance, forestry services, and urban and community forestry. These programs assist owners in growing more timber and foster conservation and multiple use of the forest resource. Each county is assigned a forester to assist landowners throughout the state. These project foresters are available to assist with forest management advice and can prepare a written forest management plan with recommendations to help reach the landowner's objectives. South Carolina's Forest Stewardship Program is designed to assist private landowners who want to do the most they can for future generations, become forest stewards. Between timber harvest, there are the added benefits of forest stewardship. Proper management helps provide diversified wildlife habitats, family recreation, improve soil and water quality, as well as the natural beauty. There's a stewardship forester in each region and a coordinator located at the headquarters to assist landowners with meeting their objectives. Over two thirds of our state's population live in cities and towns. Our urban and community forestry program strives to help local governments, educational institutions, and nonprofit organizations develop and enhance the benefits provided by trees and green space where we live and work. Urban foresters with the South Carolina Forestry Commission are available to assist with information, training, and technical assistance related to the establishment and management of trees in urban areas of South Carolina. The Commission operates five state forests that provide forest-based recreational opportunities and serve as examples of the benefits of active forest management. Harbison State Forest, located approximately nine miles from downtown Columbia in Richland County, is bounded along its northeastern edge by the Broad River. Its unique urban location makes Harbison one of the largest public green spaces inside the city limits of a metropolitan area in the eastern United States. With over 31 miles of roads and trails through the pine and hardwood forest, it has gained the reputation as a mountain biking mecca for the area. Manchester State Forest, located in Sumter and Clarendon counties, continues to be used for hunting, fishing, horseback riding, motorcycle ATV riding, and a rifle pistol range. Wee Tee State Forest, located on the Santee River in Lower Williamsburg and Georgetown counties, is an unfragmented bottomland hardwood forest. Its significance lies in its watershed and water supply protection, habitat for wildlife, and a number of threatened and endangered species and the opportunities it provides for recreation. Sand Hill State Forest in Chesterfield, Darlington, and Kershaw counties is home to Sugarloaf Mountain, a traditional gathering place for family recreation for over a century. Hunting, fishing, horseback riding, hiking, bird watching, and camping continue to be favorite activities on sand hills. Poe Creek State Forest, located in Pickens and Oconee counties, includes a conference center, picnic shelter, and two houses that are available for rent. South Carolina is rich in natural resources that are vital to our economy. As an economic development institution, we help recruit forest products industries to South Carolina by finding more outlets for our exports and by helping locate raw materials for local companies that use wood. Commission employees also assist companies with recycled wood and paper products and help businesses which are discovering new ways to use wood and wood fiber. The South Carolina Forestry Commission owns two nursery and tree improvement facilities to provide landowners with the highest quality seed and seedlings available for timber production, wildlife habitat improvement, Christmas tree production, and restoration of valuable forested ecosystems. 
In 2018, the Forestry Commission entered into a partnership with commercial forestry seedling provider Arborgen, which will manage and operate Taylor Nursery in Edgefield County. The facility will continue to produce high quality, improved seedlings for the landowners of South Carolina at a reduced rate. Niederhoff Forestry Center is located just north of the town of Tillman in Jasper County. Some of the property is managed for tree improvement as a production seed orchard. The remaining acreage is managed as a multiple use demonstration forest and for outreach activities that include specialized hunts. The Forest Inventory and Analysis Program collects forest inventory and forest health monitoring data from a network of permanent sample plots. Plots are measured for growth projections, mortality and harvest assessments, and land use classification. In addition, FIA provides information about South Carolina's forest resources, including forest acreage, timber quality, timber volume, timber growth, forage, water, and recreation. Currently, three full-time inventory crews, consisting of two employees each, are stationed throughout the state with field offices in each region. Forests provide habitats for all kinds of wildlife. By protecting the soil, they also protect the quality of water in rivers and streams. They provide recreational opportunities, hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, bird watching, and nature photography. The environmental management section is responsible for the development and implementation of the environmental protection of forest and associated natural resources. Federal and state laws require that water quality and endangered species must be protected. Best management practices are designed to minimize the impact of forestry practices and related activities on water quality and other functions and values. There is a BMP forester in each region and a coordinator located at the headquarters to assist and encourage landowners to comply with these voluntary and non-voluntary regulations so that these resources are protected. The Information Technology section is responsible for the maintenance, support, and security of the agency's networks, computers, radios, and repeaters. They also support the consoles and related systems to the three regional dispatch centers that handle 26 to 55,000 phone calls annually for burn notifications and reporting of wildfires. This dispatch system determines the closest available resource based on road mileage and travel speeds, automates the notification to personnel of wildfires, and automates the compliance issues with smoke management regulations on forestry, wildlife, and agricultural burn notifications. The Communication and Public Information Division plans and implements communication and public information, marketing and educational programs for the agency to enhance forestry's image while promoting the agency's mission and goals. A creative staff play the lead role by coordinating media interest and public relations for the agency, preparing articles, speeches, presentations, exhibits, letters, and reports to support programs and personnel. As a champion for natural resource conservation, we teach environmental education to students and even train teachers how to do the same. Education has been a prime function in the fields of fire protection, reforestation, and forest management. Today, environmental education programs such as Project Learning Tree, the Teacher's Tour, and the Wood Magic Forest Fair are increasing the understanding of the importance of our forests. The work we do supports the responsible and sustainable growth of the state's woodlands, the industries that use them, and the way of life their bounty supports. Our forests have never meant more to us than they do today for their economic, environmental, and spiritual benefits. As patterns of land use change and more and more forest land is lost to commercial and residential development, the remaining forest land must be managed very carefully while continuing to meet the demands of a growing population. The Forestry Commission is here to help with that mission. We are the South Carolina Forestry Commission. South Carolina Forest, they'll grow on you.